Hey y'all, it's Jag. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's get back to just another game, The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, where we're back in the marketplace because I spent a little time doing things. Upgrade related things. Things I'm very interested in doing. Uh, Hello, welcome to the item Oh. Oh, I, uh, welcome. Uh, you seem different. I do? I don't think I do. Maybe you're mistaken? It's not like, oh hey, that guy's back, I'm so happy, or anything like that. But if you think about how often we meet, you have to admit that our relationship has gone between employee and customer, you know? Oh no, I didn't mean to- what am I saying? Please forget everything I just said, okay? Okay, get it together, be professional. Do you have anything you want me to hang on to? Uh, yes please? <laughs> Wonderful, so what do you have? Uh, I want to take this out of storage and put it here. Thank you. Come again. Alright, she's a little weird right now. I've got an upgrade for you. I've been looking forward to this. Upgrade my sacred shield into a goddess shield. Four dusk relics, three bird feathers, three monster horns, and one bluebird feather. Actually, it did not take as long as I thought to get the bluebird feather. The viewing platform, right before we go to the deep woods, um, going into the deep woods there, with the hornet and the bacoblins, bluebirds do show up there. So that's a place where you can farm pretty easily. Although, only I was only concerned with getting one, because I wanted this upgrade. All right, you want to upgrade this? There's no going back. You here? Go for it. Okay. And I am poor. <laughs> Hold well on. Here you go. You upgraded to a goddess shield. This shield repairs itself with sacred power, and it's even more durable than other versions of the shield. Huh, looks like you don't have anything else I can upgrade. Come again soon! Alright, let's see what this looks like. Other than having a creepy face. It's about the same as a basic iron shield. <laughs> but it does repair itself over time. It's immune to fire and electricity. It's actually kind of worth using now. Um... I kind of want to get rid of the glittery spores. I'm not going to use them. Boy, have I got the new potion for you. I call it the air potion. One delicious gulp of this elixir and you'll find that while you are underwater, your oxygen gauge will drop much more slowly. You'll be like a little fish, young man, and the price is more than generous if I do say so myself. If you're interested in a bottle, young man, just examine the blue cauldron and I'll come running. Um... No, but I think I do want the red one. Uh, yeah, well... We'll double upgrade a Vat of Heart Potion. It's probably the only potion I feel like I actually need. Alright, eight, eight hearts. Do I have enough to double upgrade it? Let's find out. I know, I figure I can do it at least once. I got, yeah. Alright, infuse it. So it'll at least get to be a full heal. Go ahead. Oh, shit. Yes, I want you to infuse it. Infuse. Go ahead. Put bug parts in it and make it tasty. Alright, so now it's heart plus. Can I double it? I can, just barely. I need more sand cicadas. I will never run out of Deku Hornets, apparently. All right, infuse this. The reason why I'm doing this is so that I still have a bubble with two helpings, even if I empty the first one or get rid of the mushroom spores and put in uh, like a fairy or something. There we go. All right, that's pretty much all the preparations I think I need to do. Got a brand new shiny new shield that's constantly looking at me. Constantly looking at me. Also, we're never gonna have to run out of space in our wallet again. 5,000 rupees. Actually, what? 5,900 rupees is what it carries? Yeah, 50, almost 6,000 rupees. 
We're gonna be fine for a while. <laughs> that was worth it. <laughs> oh, made my burn, my burn brain itself. <laughs> oh, get you in this. Oh god, concussion. All right, it's finally time to explore and find where we're gonna be going in in this area, uh, the desert. Come the desert. I've heard a lot of people hate this part of the game. I'm, I don't know how I feel about it. Um, but I've heard a lot of people don't think this is a good part of the game. Um, let's go to the West Desert. Let's just start here. What was this off to my right? Oh, okay. Yeah. I want to look immediately to my right and find out what I just landed next to. Game's like, uh, you have to make sure you're properly seated and all. Oh, moblins aren't that hard anymore if you just go fast. Unless they're in the desert. In which case, I'm kind of screwed. Because I did this. Moblins start so hard. Dies. I feel like I see the place I need to explore, though. Okay, it, it did take some damage, but not much. Interesting. And it heals itself pretty fast. That's good to know. Moblins aren't so hard. Ow. Then he squished me. Okay, yeah, that, that went real well. That went real well. It's much for moblins not being that hard, but it does look like this is where I want to explore the claw shots. My instincts were pretty strong there. Looking at the map, it looked like this was next to the empty space that I wanted to go to. Another 20 rupees. And looks like we can put a shortcut back up here. So why don't we just do that immediately? Excellent. Okay, so looking around was a little bit profitable. Fighting the Moblin definitely hurt a lot. What's this way? I mean, I immediately went for the claw shot target. What is... What are you? Okay. Yeah, my shield's already healed, and if you hit one of those rocks with proper timing, I'm assuming, like, if you hit his thrust with proper timing, you won't take damage to your shield either, but good luck with that. But yeah, if you hit the thrusts with proper timing, you won't take shield damage. Pick up some ants. I'll put down the shortcut on this side, too, so I don't have to deal with the moblin if I don't want to. Basically, it's your choice of two Octoroks or one Moblin. As far as those shortcuts go. All right. And the fact that there's two shortcuts tells me there's absolutely something I want to explore this way. I think we're gonna like having the Sacred Shield. Even though it's a small bar, it heals quickly. And you know, as we've been told, it's immune to fire and electricity damage. So it's basically all purpose shield. Not the best shield in the game still, but all-purpose shield at least. We won't get the best shield in the game till damn near the end of it, honestly. Another shortcut. The 
the symbol that they've got on the front makes me think at some point I'm going to have to pull them with the claw shot, because the symbol on the front still looks like a claw shot target. I didn't want to do that. Up there I think is where I want to go, but now I'm kind of curious what's over here. Besides Octorox. Forever Octorox. Ow. Give me a heart. This is another shortcut. Uh, I don't know what this is. Huh. Okay, I'm guessing at some point I'm gonna have to go this way for some reason, because this is not a shortcut. We'll put that mystery aside for another time. Bad habit, I'm never gonna break it. It's one of the reasons why I don't like this inventory system that much. The Nehru Caves. Whole new area. Kill the things that are gonna kill me. Also, butterflies. I actually probably do need butterflies. Brand new Goron? Or same Goron? Hopefully a female Goron, so the Goron race exists. Right, I don't have to think too hard about collecting butterflies. It's not that difficult. You chase the butterflies and they fly around. There was a gossip stone here. Boing oing. Ooh, evil crystal, very nice. They say that somewhere in this vast desert there's a dragon who loves putting the abilities of those who visit him to some kind of test. If you can master the challenges he throws at you, you'll be rewarded with a shield stronger than any other. Yeah, that's the shield, best shield in the game. We're not going to get it for a while. Um, all right, what's over here? You got a monster horn. Some Bacoblins carry a monster horn on their waist. If you latch onto it and pull with your whip, it is possible to claim it for yourself. Yep, yeah, they're going to explain that you can steal things with the whip, which is kind of cool. Um, was not expecting her to do that right now. Whatever I blew up, it had a lot of money in it. Okay, what's this way? Ahead is Lene Remind, it is there that I will solve the mystery of the time shift stones! Head is Lanero Sand Sea, an area covered in an ocean of sand. There are lots of ancient ruins there. More importantly, there's a place to sit. I think. How's, how are things going? How are you feeling about your adventure? Do you miss Zelda? I mean, you've got... You got the item check, girl. Potentially. She seems interested in you. She seems nice. What if the goddess didn't plan for you to just settle down and find a nice girl that's not her? Seems, seems like poor planning on her part, potentially. You're just like, hmm. Goddess or girl that's already here? Dude, it's just bums. It's not that hard. Although I'm not sure six rupees is worth it. I also don't know how I got out of that hole. That was weird. But no. She made sure that you fell in love with her. So you don't have a choice. Plus, if you did that, there would not be a video game. And isn't that the greatest crime of all? The fact that there would be no reason to play this game? To be fair, 
I was never really impressed with this game because I thought the Wii controls were kind of stupid. And I don't think I'm alone in that. Also, I never had a Wii, so I never, obviously never got a chance to play it. Um, but I've been enjoying it more than I thought. Like I said, it, I, I never faulted it for its character design. This is the cutest Zelda I've ever seen. And I like the fact that it's, you know, Skyward Swordish, not just the fact that it's cell shaded, but also the characters themselves look like they're lifted from Skyward Sword. Which is kind of cool. I really li Or not Skyward Sword. <laughs> Wind Waker. Of course they're lifted from Sky Skyward Sword. I'm talking about Wind Waker. So, you know, I appreciate that. Alright, let's scare him some more. You don't have to do that. You can use bombs like a human. See? I almost never get visitors. My name is Golo, and I am researching the legend of the three dragons, one of which is said to live here. Mm. At first glance, it would seem that there is nothing in this area, but I know there is something here. I will just keep on looking. So your name is Link? I see. Not the easiest name to say, is it? And how about you, Link? Why are you here? Mm. You are looking for a sacred flame? That sounds like something I would have heard of before, but maybe not. Oh. Sweet Goro. I remember now, I read something about it in ancient scrolls that spoke of the Lanero Sand Sea. I do not remember all the details, but you can get to the Lanero Sand Sea if you just go straight through here. If you want to get to the Lanero Sand Sea, you're going to need this key. You got a small key. This key will open a locked door. You can only use it in this area. Good luck to you. Uh, thank you for having this key. Why did you lock it? Did you just want somebody to come say hi? <laughs> Is that all you wanted? You just wanted somebody to come say hi? If I see any heroes, I will lock this door so that they are forced to come say hello to me. All right, so clearly this is not progress, and we do have double claw shots, so what is this? Spider-Man, Spider-Man does whatever Link can. Two claw shots across the sky. Does not need to go through two dungeons to fly. Look out, here comes the Spider-Link. What is up here? <laughs> Certainly something. Okay, this is different. What is this? I kind of feel like this is not what I expected. This is not what I expected at all. Is that a giant cannon? Do not make One Piece reference. Do not make One Piece reference. Do not make One Piece reference. Moa Moa! Hundredfold Cannon! <laughs> yes, I just watched the episode. Or, I, I, I've been buying a lot of anime on iTunes now that I got my iPhone. I'm really enjoying it. I like. I'm not where I want to be, but I am also intrigued. All right, that's no time shift stone there. Just a boost. What is this purpose? He clearly has one. Uh, have I been here before? I guess I have. Huh. I guess I never went this way? Huh. Interesting. Alright, well... That's how that connects, I guess. That's the real takeaway here. 
sure there will be a reason to come here, but clearly that reason is not now. I hate this system. <laughs> I really do. I don't know why I can't get used to it. I guess it's because there's so many items that you have to hold down the use that it kind of makes holding down the select items always awkward. Did we honestly never come here? It was like I would have looked over here. I mean, the map's auto-filled for you, so it's kind of hard to tell where you have and have not been. Anyway, I've kind of said that One Piece isn't more available on Android and, and um, at least as far as a purchase on Android and iTunes. It's available on Xbox, the dub is, for some reason. Other than that, you stream. And it's kind of a weird choice. Maybe they have exclusivity with Microsoft, I don't know. Also not a huge fan of the One Piece dub, just not. And I'm talking like the new one, not the one that 4Kids did. Funimation's doing dubs themselves. A report, Master. This is Lanero San Sea. This whole area was once a vast ocean. But the water has all evaporated, and now the area is a sea of sand. Signs indicate that this place functioned as a port, linking the land to the sea. This area operated on a new form of power. There's a 90% probability that the sacred flame is located ahead. I recommend exploring the sand sea. I'm gonna have to fix the timing on that, probably. Man, it's been so long since we had... We had an area entry, or an area introduction, but I forgot it was going to happen. Also, I wish, I wish I could control that, di that dialogue. That would be nice, but for some reason they decided that this specific dialogue should play automatically. I don't know why. It's not like it's hard to fix the timing of scenes to how the player progresses dialogue, but you do you, Nintendo. Because that's what you will always do whenever given a choice. A new form of power is that form of power digging! Alright, ants if I want them. More ants if I want them. Sure. Oh, I uh, killed the ant. Maybe that's what was in that pot. I killed some bug that was in that pot. That would make sense. Also, cat's very angry. Cat's hungry. It's feeding time for cat, and uh, she's gonna have to wait a little bit longer. Alright, make sure I tag that. Oh, good. Oh, hey, I got a thing for you. It does not hurt, or it does not help to be immune to electricity if I strike them when they're charged. But having this shield is going to be so good. This is like why I went out of my way to farm the stuff for it before we came down here, because electric enemies are obnoxious. I don't hate fire enemies nearly as much as I hate electric enemies. And it's, you know, it's... It's the, it's the fact that they stun you that's annoying. Being on fire and doing damage over time is not that bad. Because usually it's like a quarter heart. But the stun is just irritating because you can miss windows of opportunity. And you really have to watch your windows of opportunity. And I really wish you didn't. And you can take a lot more damage in a fight like this. But there's a lot, a lot of electricity than you will in fire. Like, you can't be more on fire. It doesn't prolong fire to be hit with multiple waves of fire. But you hit, you get hit with multiple waves of electricity, 
and he can be stunned for a long time. Look how much damage we did take in that fight. Just because, you know, honestly, yes, I am impatient. But also, just because electricity is not fun to deal with. All right, I don't see anything else of uh, value. Besides so more yellow chews. Always yellow chews. I mean, I'm getting sticky blobs. Have I even really needed those for anything? I mean, I've used them for maybe, like, once. Right? I can think of. I really needed everything else before I needed sticky blobs. Which, I mean, it's a common treasure, so I should not be surprised, but still. Oh, you look like you're gonna be fun. All right. I guess I have to strike at a distance. All right, this is interesting. Time shift boat? I am the proud skipper of a ship that protects the nearest flame fleet. It was the day of the storm, Fooey. My crew and I were navigating the seas as usual, Verm. And then these brutes, the pirates, suddenly attacked us. They were after neighbors' planes. My crew was imprisoned, Vert, and I was thrown into the ocean. Into the sea. I drifted on the current to this port, Vroom. After that, I took this boat and went searching for my ship and crew, but they were nowhere to be found. It haunts me, wondering where my ship could be, fleet. I bet my hat that they turned the ship invisible and are hiding out somewhere, Vroom. You can't see it. Uh, invisible? In order to protect Neighbor's plane, the, the ship has a function that allows it to become invisible, Fleet. You say you're searching for Neighbor's plane. Oh, so you need Neighbor's plane to find someone important to you, Vroom? In that case, you should help me search for my ship and crew, Fleet. If you'll help me, then I guess I'll let you on my boat. Alright, I'll help. Really, Vroom? Well, in that case, bzz. Hmm. There's something weird about that map of yours, Vroom. If you're going to navigate these treacherous waters, then you need a proper sea chart, do we? There is a sea chart in my shack at Skipper's Retreat, bzz. So first, you need to get on this boat and set a course for Skipper's Retreat. Shall we shove off, Vroom? Uh, let's wait a minute. We need to get a move on. Yeah, I understand, but we also need to call it an episode here. So, thank you guys so much for joining me. As always, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed what you saw, let me know. Give me likes, so leave me comments. Remember to subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow when we set sail. Finally, again, Link can be a proper pirate. All right, you guys have a good day. Bye-bye.